right here. Y you can see it. Yeah, it kind of spills. I can just. That's so cool. Look at that. Oh no, the the flood is here. <laughs> So I'm trying to make realistic water, which uh, includes like everything about it. Like it falls, it spreads out, and uh, it, it kills people if it if it like they like drown in it. So I already got started on it. I have some code inside of this water handler script. So if I run this, it should play what I have already. Like, whoa, see? That was a little fast, let me slow it down. There's a bunch of configurations, so I can make the, the fall speed a little less quick. I can slow down the spread a bit, so let's do that. Let's run that, uh, okay. Yo, I can't wait to deploy a uh, several mile long block of water onto a city once it's done, but uh, there's still a few things left I have to work on. Like if it uh, encounters a wall like this, for example, it cannot spread into it. So if I play it again, if I uh, if I play it again, you'll, you'll notice it has some strange behaviors. Yeah, it shouldn't be able to do that. It should push up against the wall instead of spreading through it. So I still need to fix that. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen something like this already. The main behavior for it right here wasn't too hard to make. It just uses rage to see if there's a floor under it and if there is it will uh, diffuse so I still got a long way to go though I need to add droughting and uh, yeah just the behavior needs to be added to a bit so uh, I'm gonna go mess with some stuff and I'll be back soon Alrighty, so there's some uh, pretty cool changes. So I added this GUI where you can uh, modify how large you want the water so let's say I want it to be 50 studs above me so I'll put uh, 50. Now, let's say I want it to be a really small drop of water, right? Well, we can do that. Just one, one, and one. And, uh, we can place it. And look, um, you're, you're not supposed to see the ray. I should have made that invisible, but you get the idea. It's a, it's a little drop. <laughs> But uh, something really cool I added was water uh, o obeys the laws of physics, so it can't go through this anymore. Which, as dumb as it sounds, it's actually pretty cool for this game engine. So if I make a 6x6x6 water block, it will not pass into here. <laughs> See, look, it stopped itself, but it did spread out that way. So I'll, I'll use a bigger block, for example. There we go. Look, it, it won't go into the wall. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It just spreads out into that direction. So we're getting closer and closer to reality with this water. And uh, that means that uh, it has to kill people if they're uh, under it for too long. So that'll that'll be really fun because I could just rain down these... <laughs> Hold on, let me turn the speed up. So right now the water uh, speed, uh, essentially that's the physics of it, is at only two. Let's just uh, uh, let's just make that a little higher. Same with this fall speed, you know. Let's just times that by ten. You know, it's kind of boring right now. So can I just flood the? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, that's a, that's a little bit. I can just, that's so cool. Look at that. That's actually so satisfying. <laughs> it just levels out. What if I make tick speed like... <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. It, it has a limit. It won't just instantly cover the whole world, but that, that's still cool nonetheless. Well, uh, I'm gonna go make it more realistic if you know what I mean. So, uh, bye. <laughs> All right, so there's this uh, interesting physics realism tab I added, which basically at the expense of your game lagging, it makes the spilling mechanics more realistic. So if I set it to 10, which is pretty high, we can like deploy some water. Let's do it like right here. Y you can see it. Yeah, it kind of spills more realistically. Oh, also it evaporates like that. That's pretty cool. This uh, this makes me kind of curious uh, of how much my computer can handle. <laughs> what if I just make like a really large, um, really realistic uh, pool of water fall down? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Um, okay, this is not behaving quite as I thought it would. Why is it green? <laughs> oh, okay. It, it gets a little weird once you go high enough with that. If you just want a big block of water and you don't want it to be that physically accurate, you can just dump that with no lag, but you'll, you'll see it kind of doesn't act that realistic uh obviously you just set it to one so <laughs> that is done now and that's pretty cool so on to the drowning <laughs> okay so there's drowning now but also uh, other mechanics like uh if the water is too large and too fast it can uproot anchored parts and buildings <laughs> like uh oh no 
Oh no, the, the flood is here. <laughs> oh god. I know it was kind of hard to tell, but I did drown a bit. You can see my health is a little lower. It takes a while to fully drown, but you can uh, configure that, of course. You can set the drown rate right here to higher, but yeah, uh, buildings that uh, don't really stand a chance to larger floods. Like, oh no. Oh no, the roads! They they kind of act like tsunamis in a way. They just push away uh, any any parts that get in their way. So bad things can happen to your town if you uh, let the water run rampant. Well, uh, you, you know the drill. Time to go into a, a real lobby. <laughs> this is actually so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Don't worry, you can still place smaller cubes of water without any consequence. Like, look at that. See, it's fine. Don't start any uh, crazy floods and the uh, the buildings will be okay. But uh, yeah, so let's go find some real players. Oh gosh, we're in, okay. <laughs> we got a fresh batch of uh, innocent kids to uh, dump water on. So let's, uh... <laughs> damn it, they've already caught on. Okay, well, uh, I, I don't know exactly what this guy means by this, but I wanna, I wanna create like a wave. So I'm thinking I do like this this and this so that just creates you know a little wave that dilutes out so are you guys ready <laughs> to survive a tsunami we're just gonna drop this message uh, i hope it doesn't alarm them too much but i just want to give them a, like a fair heads up you know oh um <laughs> uh sorry layla <laughs> uh, i'm sorry to hear that but unfortunately <laughs> my daughter is nine please <laughs> No! It's okay, Layla. Your daughter should be unaffected by this, except for the massive amounts of building debris that will be flying around. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this works. So let's do like this, and uh, let's just let's just place this. Oh God! <laughs> the trees! No! The school! Oh, it it went away. Uh, uh, I think I need to make the evaporation rate a little bit longer. Maybe let's, uh, let's just do that. Okay, that, that might make the water last a bit longer. Okay, round two. We got another fresh batch right here. This time, I'm not going to alert them about the, about the, uh, unfortunate thing that's about to happen to them. They're in the chat. OMG, hi. Can we have money? <laughs> you know what? Actually, I will talk to them. Would you like a large amount of water? <laughs> Uh, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, no, you, you're not actually allowed to change your answer. The tsunami is here! <laughs> oh, no! So, uh, the, the first half of the town is, uh, struggling a bit, but, uh, the, hou the houses are, um not doing too well but i don't know maybe they'll live the water's spreading out slowly i think i set the tick rate to pretty small so it's gonna take a bit the game is not doing so well <laughs> these poor souls are drowning nearly instantly <laughs> Uh, this is quite the pickle. Uh, we can only hope this town recovers from this. Oh, thank goodness. The, the water finally evaporated. The, the town isn't actually that damaged. I think they'll rebuild. Uh, <laughs> it's actually completely ruined this thing. I feel bad. Let's just, let's just rain like a few drops. Just a little sprinkle of water, you know? Just gotta take it easy on these guys. They, they've been through a lot. Let's make a really realistic uh, water. Okay, that's actually cool. Look at that. Okay, uh, th this server might be beyond saving. I think I need to end it. I uh, I felt bad for uh, ending this man's family. So I'm trying to financially compensate him right now. He seems to be content with this. Well, uh, this was a very fun video. I love reworking like core Roblox stuff like fire and water and stuff and uh, testing it on people. So I'm probably gonna do more of that in the future. And remember to subscribe because it's free and you're really cool if you do it. And also join the Discord to be a subject, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye.